Hello again, my name's John, I'm a retired chef from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video. And in this one I'll be making these delicious scotch eggs. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. Before I go any further, I'd like to give a quick shout out to this week's Patreon and PayPal donators. And they are David Long, Hamza Abu Bakr, Norbert Rechtenvolt, Gordon Keith, Brian Lampard, Christopher Date, A.L. Golan and Patricia Harris. Thanks again guys, I really do appreciate all your support. And with that out of the way, let's get on with today's recipe. And the first job to do is to boil the eggs. Now this recipe will make about five or six scotch eggs depending on the size of eggs used. But for this video I'll be showing just a couple of examples. In one of a new series of quick tip videos I'll be showing the best way to boil, time and peel eggs. So I hope you look forward to that one. For this example I'll boil these for eight minutes. I'll come back to these in a moment. Next job is to make the breadcrumbs. You can of course buy them but I prefer to make my own. All I have here is seven slices of fresh bread with the crusts cut off. It doesn't have to be stale hard bread but you can use that too. You can leave the crusts on if you want to but I find that leaves dark patches on the finished scotch egg. Right I simply blitz that in my food processor for about a minute and that's that job done. Next job is to beat a couple of eggs. This is to dip the scotch egg in before it goes into the crumb. Once the time's up on the boiling eggs, carefully lift them out and put them into cold water and set them aside for now. Time to prepare the sausage meat. You can buy the sausage meat already made up but it's most likely to be a basic flavoured sausage meat. So why not use your favourite sausages and cut the skins off. The scotch eggs will taste better and it will probably work out cheaper too. Once the sausage meat is in the bowl I like to give it a bit extra flavour with a couple of shakes of white pepper and a half teaspoon of dried sage but you can use whatever spices and herbs that you like. Right I'll give that a good mix together using a fork. Last job before making the scotch eggs is to peel the boiled eggs and like I said earlier I'll put a short video together very soon on the best way to boil, time and peel eggs. To help form and handle the eggs you'll need a small piece of cling film or plastic wrap with a thin coat of oil applied to it. Next I'll weigh off the meat. You'll want to divide it into 80 grams that's 2.8 ounce portions and that'll cover most medium to large eggs. And once that's done we're ready to form these scotch eggs. Ok take your piece of sausage meat and press it into a rectangle shape on the oiled cling film as shown. Now 
Once that's done, place the egg in the middle of the meat. Now carefully pick up the sides of the cling film, hold it in the palm of your hand and slowly form the meat around the egg as shown, pressing and nipping the ends together as you go. Once it's just about formed, remove the plastic wrap and finish it off in your hands and the oil will prevent it from sticking. Once you've done this a couple of times it becomes very easy. It's like anything else, it only takes a little practice and patience. And there you go, that's all it takes and that's the most difficult part of this recipe done. Incidentally you can use the same piece of cling film for making all the rest of the eggs and also you shouldn't need to add any more oil to the cling film. Time to apply the coating to the scotch egg. First dip it into the beaten egg and make sure that it's fully coated. It's this egg dip that holds the meat together as it's frying. Next, toss it in the crumbs until it's completely covered. If you want an extra crunchy coating on your scotch egg, repeat these two steps again now. I'm going to just give it one coat in this demonstration. And that's it, it's ready to fry. Time to heat up the oil. I'm using rapeseed oil for mine but sunflower or vegetable oil is just as good. The temperature of the oil needs to be between 130 and 135 Celsius, that's 265 to 275 Fahrenheit. Once the oil is up to temperature, I'll carefully lower my egg into the pan using a slotted spoon. Like I said earlier, I'm just showing one scotch egg, but if you're doing the full recipe, make sure your pan is large and deep enough to take all five eggs. Okay, just out of interest, I'll set my stopwatch away to see exactly how long it takes to cook at this temperature. And while that's cooking, I hope you don't mind if I give my very first recipe book a bit of a plug. The book has lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in it and is available in the channel's website shop along with loads of other equipment I use in the videos. It's just another way you can support the channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below the video or just click on the eye icon top right of your screen if you want to order a copy today. Right, it's a nice golden brown, so I'm going to call this one done. And that took 6 minutes and 20 seconds, which gives you an approximate idea on how long yours should take. Okay, I'll get it on some kitchen paper to soak up any excess oil, and then I'll cut it open and let you see what it looks like on the inside. Right, using a good sharp knife, I'll try to cut it as clean as possible. And there you go, that looks very good. The yolk in this case is at the hard boiled stage. That's determined by how long you boil the egg at the start. In this case it was 8 minutes. Now here's one that was boiled for 6.5 minutes and as you can see the yolk is a lot softer. So it's all about the boiling time on how you want your finished egg yolk to look. So there you go, that's how I make my scotch eggs. If you've been a bit reluctant to try them in the past, I hope this video has given you enough confidence to give them a go now. And oh yes, that's another big thumbs up for a great old classic. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.